Hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different format than what you're used to. Uh, usually I would just, uh, you know, show you the moves, talk about the players a little bit, talk about the events they are playing in, maybe we show um, uh, some engine lines, maybe we talk about what the great players of the past thought about the position and, it, you know, it's a, it's a nice story, definitely. Uh, but I already made 3,000 videos, like 3,182 videos, pretty much in the exact same format. So I thought uh, it's, uh, it's time to uh leave that behind and start a new chapter of the channel and from now on i will only be discussing games using nothing but storytelling uh, and poetry uh, so the first game i decided to show you is adolf anderson versus jean dufresne it's a famous a famous game uh it was played in berlin in 1852 it's called the evergreen game uh, i'm sure you guys uh, know why might have even shown it on the channel maybe once or twice can't really remember uh, but it's a, it's a really a wonderful game and i don't think it was ever discussed uh, quite uh, in this fashion so let's uh, uh let's check it out uh and this is how it goes. Once upon a time in a realm where knights and bishops reigned, two grandmasters met for a legendary duel. The battlefield was a checkered board and the heroes were the formidable Adolf Anderson and the brilliant Jean Dufresne. Uh, the game unfolded like a dance, a ballet of wooden pieces moving in harmony. Uh, in the opening, the pawns advanced cautiously, forming lines of defense and paving the way for the nobles. Knights leaped like gazelles, their leaps tracing L-shaped patterns in the air. Uh, bishops glided diagonally, slicing through the battlefield with unwavering precision. Uh, as the game progressed, the grandmasters exchanged pieces in a delicate waltz, uh, each seeking to outwit the other. The queens, powerful and majestic, stalked the board, striking fear in their adversaries. Their potential for destruction was unparalleled. Uh, yet their presence was as fleeting as a comet's tail. Uh, in a daring sacrifice, Anderson offered his queen to the hungry jaws of the frame's pieces. Uh, the grandmasters locked eyes, their brows furrowed with intensity as the queens fell. The sacrifice, a calculated ruse, uh, opened the gates for Anderson's rook and bishop to storm the enemy's fortress, capturing their foe's precious monarch. Uh, the finale approached like a gathering storm, with the evergreen scent of victory in the air. Anderson's pieces swirled around the board in a dizzying dance, cornering the frame's king in a suffocating embrace. The checkmate was a crescendo. Uh, thus, uh, the, the checkmate was a crescendo, a culmination of a symphony of moves orchestrated to perfection. Thus, the evergreen game was etched into the annals of history, a poetic testimony to the beauty of chess and the art of sacrifice. The grandmaster's dance was immortalized, the echoes of their wooden footsteps forever resonating on the checkered stage. The end.